Hi guys and welcome back. It's Charlotte O'Kelly, aka Little Bit of Sunshine. Hoping to brighten up your day no matter what the weather. And I'm here today with my fourth fan Q and A as such. Um, Galaxy Lover, who always comments on my videos, got a lover. Um, asked me a load of questions and asked me to do a Q and A. So I'm gonna do one <laughs> just for you because you asked plenty of questions to fill up a whole video. So let's get into it. Um, question number one, do I have any pets? I do indeed, I have a dwarf hamster called Buddy. I would show her to you right now, but I think she's asleep, so she's probably hiding. So she's probably not, like you probably can't see her in the cage, unfortunately. Question two, do you have any siblings? I don't, I'm an only child and pretty much always have been, always, like, always have been, <laughs> yeah. Um, not that, uh, maybe I should say not that I know of, I don't have any siblings that I know of. I'm watching Gossip Girl at the minute, so you know, nothing certain in this life. Uh, if you could, what place in the world would you like to live and why? Um, I'd always say Puerto Rico and Gran Canaria when I get asked this, but I'd also love to live in Brighton. Um, Puerto Rico and Gran Canaria for the sun, the heat, the cheapness of food. Um, and plus I have some friends over there and I've had some great holidays over there so I think living over there would be pretty awesome. Brighton because there's a lot of gluten free vegan options over there and I just think it would be easier to live over there for food and then it's a really like happy, nice and pretty city too so that's like, yeah, they're my uh, two places. I know you only asked one but they're the two places I have said I'd love to live. Um, are you doing any more ch challenges or vlogs? If not then can you please? I have no problem doing more challenges, I just don't know what challenges people want to see. So what challenges would you like to see? Comment below if you have a challenge you think I could do. Now, it has to be gluten free and vegan. That's the only like little catch 20 I'll have. Like, I feel like I can't do like the milk challenge or something. Well maybe I could, I could do the vegan milk challenge. <laughs> Leave your cha challenges below and I will consider them. And vlogs, I hope to do a lot more vlogs in the future. I actually vlogged last week. And I did it on my phone, like I kind of did a week in the life of Sean and like I just took like little snippets of everything I was doing but I can't seem to get onto my laptop to edit it into a video which is like really annoying me at the minute but I am working on it so you might get a vlog soon, I, I might have to abandon that idea and do it again but I do hope to do more vlogs in the future, it's something that I always wanted to do more of so vlogs definitely, challenge videos, if you come up with them I will do them um, I do actually have an idea to do the 3 minute makeup challenge, so that, that's a challenge that's coming soon. Um, what's your favourite hairstyle? Um, I love a curly updo, but at the same time I also love my hair down and like straight or curly, it doesn't really matter. I just like, I have long hair so literally anything will suit my hair. Like literally today I literally just took it out of a pony and here we are, boom! <laughs> what is your favourite hobby aside from making YouTube videos? Um, well I go to the gym a lot so like four times a week so like that would probably be my next hobby that I spend the most time doing so I guess I, if I'm spending a lot of time doing it I must enjoy it <laughs> and then after that probably like all my youth centre time like I sometimes volunteer for like a photography group which is great and then I'm part of the youth farm and youth centre as well which I but like I consider all that kind of like a hobby rather than like anything else so they would probably be like all my favourite hobbies as such I don't really have any other hobbies like I don't see, like I don't sing or dance I don't like I don't know what I don't fish or anything like that obviously I don't fish but like <laughs> next question anyway um <laughs> who is your favourite celebrity slash singer oh that's really tough um, I don't really like have a celebrity to look up to anymore. Um, I used to when I was younger and then one day I turned around and kind of said why do I look to them kind of people for inspiration on how to be like a good person. Like a lot of them aren't really, not to say that like all celebrities and singers like, aren't great people but a lot of the time they're in the newspaper not being great people or in magazines not being great people or all over the news for not being great people. And we're surrounded by such great people in our own lives. That's like, I'd rather be inspired by the people around me rather than people that are like on the teddy for like doing silly things as such. Um, I say this because like I used to find like all the people in Jordan Shore like really inspirational and then 
I thought about that and I was like, why am I inspired by people who made a living out of like drinking and you know, drinking and making stupid decisions? That like, not to say that like they haven't made an, a good empire out of it, but like that's not necessarily how I want to make my empire, if that makes sense. I want to make my empire from being a good person, a kind person, and just a genuine person. Like I just want to be genuine. I don't want to be like getting drunk. I don't drink, so like I don't want to be getting drunk and doing stupid things. And that's the reason I like not that I ever want to be famous, but that's the reason that people think I'm a good person. Definitely not the way I want to go in life. So, so who's my favorite celebrity and singer? I gen genuinely do not have one. Like I don't have someone like that famous that I look up to. I look up to the people that are around me that I think are good people and I think everyone should do that. <laughs> and who, what is your favourite song at the moment? Yours is God is a Woman by Ariana Grande. I think that's a lot of people's one at the minute. I know a lot of my friends love that song at the minute. But personally I don't really have a favourite song at the minute. I do have a lot of songs I'm listening to. Um, I think that would take a video on a song to explain them songs. <laughs> Basically, I'm all, like, cause I'm in the gym four times a week. That's four hours a week. I'm definitely listening to music, and then I listen to music on the way up, on the way back from the gym, and then there's times I'm just listening to music around the house. So like, I really, really mix it up, cause that is a lot of time to be listening to music. So like, I can't be listening to the same song over and over again, cause I get really bored of music. So like, some days you might get like '90s music in my album. The next it might be Taylor Swift. The next it might be. I can't even think of it. A high school musical. Yesterday it was Miley Cyrus. I have no idea. Like, and I mean Hannah Montana Miley Cyrus, not even like up to date Miley Cyrus. I mean like Party in the USA Miley Cyrus. So like, my music taste changes like literally every ten minutes. So you never know what my favorite song is. <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, how much do you miss foods like chicken, milk, etc.? I feel like I'm gonna be asked this question a lot over the next few years and the sad like, thing is I don't miss it like I do not miss it at all Um, I have a replacement for chicken like it, the Marks and Spencer's do this like soy chicken like soy chunks are called but they're basically like chicken chunks just not made of chicken so like the likes of chicken is like replaced in my life the likes of milk like I drink almond milk the likes of ice cream, I have ice cream replacements. The likes of chocolate, I have chocolate replacements. So I've replaced everything in my life. Like I don't miss anything because there's nothing there. Like there's no gap, there's nothing missing. The only things I really miss when it comes to food is gluten food. Like gluten free foods are like, all right, they're grand, but I do miss some gluten foods, if that makes sense. So that's nothing to do with being vegan or like giving up meat or milk or anything like that. But I am gonna bring up that if there is foods in this world I miss, it's just not the likes of meat or milk. It's more flour foods as such. Like proper pasta or donuts, which I could have if I was just vegan, but I can't have because I'm gluten free. So things like that I do miss. Like there is gluten free cakes, they're grand, but like, Gluten free donuts always tend to have egg or milk in them, so because I'm a vegan, I can't have them. Um, so things like that do like come up in life, but like I'd rather just not have them to be honest. Um, it's it's like it is what it is, and I've just I'm at that stage now where I've just accepted that gluten just isn't for me. Um, but it's it's not been all bad. Like it's made me try new foods. It's made me like open my palate I'm going to say and try like everything I could get my hands on that I can eat like I've been so much more open minded when it comes to trying foods where I used to be like eat the colour of that or eat the smell of that or something like that but now I'm just like oh I can have it in my mouth before I even think about it so basically I miss no chicken, no milk, no dairy products um, and not eggs, not honey, nothing like that but I do miss gluten so I miss flour, rye, barley and all that jazz so I hope that answers your question and I'm sure I will be asked this so many more times in the future and I don't think I'm ever going to miss it like I, it, it kind of smells awful to me now dealing with it is just awful like the other day in the youth centre we had like a barbecue kind of thing and nobody wanted to touch the raw meat the irony so they made me do it the vegan they made me the vegan do it <laughs> and it was just it was horrible, like it was it was torturous in a lot of ways, like because 
to them it was food now that way but to me i was like that was attached to an animal only a few days ago and that was like my mindset and it was it was kind of hard to just put them in the oven and not think about them but like you just sometimes have to deal with things like that when you're like trying to help like other people or whatever there's no way really like way of avoiding it, i guess like nobody was going to eat vegan options that night and the food would have gone to waste if i didn't put it in the oven so then like me not putting it in the oven wouldn't have saved the animal no that, that's like the way i have to think of it but um yeah what's your favorite snack Galaxy lover, you do not know me at all if you you think I have a favourite snack because snacking is my probably my favourite hobby to be honest. Um I snack so many times a day. Probably the reason I don't lose weight is because I snack so much. Um I love a salty snack. Um by that I mean like I love crisps or nuts and things like that and anything that's even remotely salty or savoury that's like what I like. I do like sweet stuff too, don't do not get me wrong, I love sweet stuff, I love fruit and all that jazz. But I think about like the snacks I definitely eat the most would be like salty snacks and savoury snacks and all that jazz. But that wraps up all of Galaxy Lover's questions. I hope Galaxy Lover enjoyed this and I hope you enjoyed this too. And if you want me to do more of these QA's, leave some questions below and I might just use them in my next QA. So I'll see you all soon. Bye!